It's Wes. Super Wes, that is. In this video, I want to talk about one of the most important alarms on the LTV ventilators, and that is the disc sense alarm. The disc sense alarm is so important because it is so often misunderstood, and there are two very important things that might be going wrong with the ventilator when it, it alarms with disc sense. If you are wondering, first of all, what the disc sense alarm means, it tells you right in the, the wording of it. The tubing is either disconnected or the sense tubes are occluded. It's that simple. Those are the two things you need to check for and in the order that you need to check for them. Now, as I've mentioned before in my videos, it's okay to press the silence button just because it's difficult to concentrate with something beeping at you, but do not ignore that alarm. If you have checked the things that I'm about to tell you and you still can't find the problem within about 10 seconds, check your patient. Look to see if there is chest rise and fall. And at the same time, see if there's any signs or symptoms of distress. If there is no chest rise or fall, or there are any signs or symptoms of distress, stop immediately, grab the manual resuscitator and start giving your patient a breath. And then once they're okay and they're taken care of, and you have somebody to give them breaths for you, then you can troubleshoot the ventilator. The first thing to check with the disc sense alarm is to look for a disconnection in the ventilator tubing. Start at the trach tube and scan quickly all the connections, all the way back if there's a heated humidifier, check that all those tubes are connected, and then back to the ventilator and check all the connections back in the ventilator. That should only take a split second to do. If you do not see any leaks or disconnections, the next thing to look at are the sense tubes. The sense tubes on the LTV ventilator are these two small little tubes. They measure pressure. They measure the pressure when they give a breath. If it's a pressure type breath, they measure the, the pressure in case the tubing gets disconnected. But also there's a little venturi device in the inside the tubing. It looks like the little airplane wing. It measures pressure on either side of that tube and it calculates the, the volume, the flow, and, it'll let, and that's what triggers the disconnect and the high pressure and the low pressure alarms. It is not often that these tubes get occluded, but what does happen is there's always condensation in the ventilator tubing. There's always water droplets. So these tubes must stay on the top of the ventilator tubing, or rather on the top side of the ventilator tubing. If these get turned around and are on the bottom side of the tubing, the water droplets will drain right into those tubes. And it only takes one drop of water to get into either one of these tubes and it will start alarming you with the disc sense alarm. Now this may not seem like very much of a problem, but it is incredibly important. Bad, bad things are gonna happen if water droplets get in these tubes. If one of these tubes gets disconnected, it won't know how much pressure it's giving to the patient. And if they are on a pressure type of a breath, it won't know when to stop. So it'll keep pushing and pushing air in and over inflate their lungs and apply too much pressure. If the other tube gets kinked off or gets a water, drop of water in it, it will think they're trying to breathe really fast and it will auto cycle and just give breaths really fast. If both tubes have water in them, it won't give any breaths at all. It'll look like it's giving a breath. It'll go shh, 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 but it will not give any volume to your patient. So it is extremely important to take care of this alarm immediately. To check for water in the tubing, start here at the sense tubes and scan all the way backward, all the way to the vent. But usually it will start alarming when that droplet of water is right here because it doesn't take much and it's just entered the tubing. If you do have a droplet of water in that tubing, it's very simple to get it out. There is a built-in way to get that water out of the sense tubes. Simply press the manual breath button on the ventilator. The manual breath button gives an extra breath to the patient but at the same time, it sends a bolus of air through these tubes to clean them out. So give a manual breath, another manual breath, and it will clear out these tubes. Whatever you do, do not keep hitting silence over and over again, not knowing what the problem is. Get the problem taken care of or make sure your patient's okay. These are the sense tubes where they connect to the side of the ventilator. There are three tubes, the two sense tubes and the exhalation valve tubing. And as you'll notice, the white tube and the yellow tube have different screw-in connectors, so you cannot screw it into the wrong place. One other thing to check is to make sure that these are snug and tightened securely. They do not have to be over-tightened. It might break them, and they will be very difficult to unscrew later. In a different video, we'll talk about this when this tube gets disconnected. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.